Hello booktube! Today I want to share with you a list of some classics which I want to reread. Some of these classics I love and I want to enjoy them again and some I didn't love and I want to see whether I've changed my mind about them because I read them a very long time ago. So the first one is obviously Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. 2007, yeah, that was the first time I ever read Pride and Prejudice. But, uh, but the last time I read Pride and Prejudice was 2011, and now it's 2017, so that's six years ago. I have so forgotten yeah. parts of it, and I want to relive them. I just really want to. So, yeah, Pride and Prejudice. I want to reread that classic. The second classic which I want to reread is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So let me explain a little bit about my love-hate relationship with Jane Eyre. So the first classic I read, as I already told you, was Pride and Prejudice. And then I wanted to read some more classics and I was looking for them. And then I kept hearing about Jane Eyre, that it was very good. So I decided to read Jane Eyre. And I was in a very cozy cloud back then. And Jane Eyre was like, it popped that balloon. I. I realized that nothing was like, you know, the first half of Jane Eyre, it's pretty, pretty grim and sad and dark. So I did not end up liking Jane Eyre. That was 2010 when I first read Jane Eyre and I just checked on Goodreads, um, sorry, Goodreads, and I have given Jane Eyre two stars out of five. So it's been a long time since I read it, seven years almost, so I want to read it now maybe as a... As an adult, I would like it more and appreciate it more because back then I was a teenager and I didn't like sad books. I mean, this is not a sad book. They end up being together, but it's just, but the ending is a little bit sad, to be honest. So now I want to read it as an adult and judge it again because I recently uh, read Agnes Grey, loved it. I am about to read um, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. And you know, I was like, why do I hate Charlotte Bronte so much? I need to like recheck. Maybe I love her now. So yeah, I want to read this. And another thing, another book which I want to reread is uh, Wuthering Heights because I also read it right after finishing Jane Eyre and I hated it as well because also that book is like pretty mental. I don't have a copy of that, but I also want to reread Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So the next two classics which I want to reread are by Jane Austen as well. I mean, the first one was Pride and Prejudice, that's the blue book right there. And then these two, Emma and Persuasion. So I read them in 2008 and 2010, I think, and I gave Emma three stars and Persuasion four stars. Now that I think about it, I really like the story of Persuasion and I want to reread it again because it's been ages and Emma I didn't like Emma as a character. I did like the guy though. Um, but overall, I'm not sure why I give it three stars. I want to revisit them and see what I think about them. And this persuasion right here is a copy by Penguin English Library. It also has a memoir of Jane Austen in it. And then this right here, Emma, um, is uh, sorry for the shine i mean i put a plastic sheet over them i'm ocd about my books so i always always put covers on them and this is um some f famous products from lahore pakistan don't know um much about this company but it's nice i have some highlights in there because yeah i mean i did enjoy it but i did not love it so i gave it three stars and i gave persuasion Four stars and Pride and Prejudice obviously is a five star read. The next classic I want to reread is Animal Farm by George Orwell. I am so embarrassed to say that I have still not read 1984. It's so hard to find a copy of that in Pakistan. Seriously, I've been looking for it and I found one copy and it was so battered that I decided not to buy it. I want to buy a nice copy because I'm sure I love George I love it because, I mean, I love Animal Farm. I give it five stars and I read this in, let me check. Um, I read this since on 6 June 2010. I don't think if you can see this, but yeah, I read this on 6 June 2010. And 
I loved it. It's small, it's tiny, but I loved it so much. I want to read it again because um, I have kind of forgotten about what happened, but I want to know. And I also need to buy 1984. I really, really need to buy that book. And the last classic which I want to reread is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. It's a Russian book which has been translated into English and I read this in 2013 November. And um, I think that was about the time when the movie starring Kira Knightley came out. And I watched the movie and I also read the book and I gave it three stars. I think the reason I gave it three stars was because it was a book, big book. It was a commitment and I still read it and uh, I was unhappy with the ending. So yeah, I gave it three stars. Otherwise, I liked the story. But the thing is, I read it online. Um, they have those free books on Kindle and I got Anna Karenina because it's a classic. It's available for free online. But I recently got myself a paperback and now I want to reread it again and see maybe I feel differently about it now. Because it was a long time, uh, it was a long time ago since I read Anna Karenina. But I was just looking at the size, and it is pretty massive, actually. And it brings that into focus. Yeah, but it's a beautiful Wordsworth Classics uh, edition, and it is um, eight hundred and something. Yeah, eight hundred and twelve something, eight hundred pages long. But I think it's beautiful. Yeah, so this is the last one which I want to reread. I also thought about putting in The Great Gatsby because I think I read it around the time I read um, Anna Karenina. But again, The Gatsby is not a very happy ending and I'm not a huge fan of sad endings. So I think I'm gonna skip, it, uh, skip that one, even though I know the writing is beautiful in it. But for now, I'm not thinking about reading. The Great Gatsby. These are the books which I want to reread. Let me just quickly go through them again. Emma by Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Animal Farm by George Orwell. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Persuasion by Jane Austen. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. And maybe Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Thank you so much for watching.